out a coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The, the kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. He's out to the 30. And he's taken down at the 36. The Hurricanes have shown over the course of the season that they want to get this guy the football, but you can't just go to him every play. Well, on the road, you especially want to take the crowd out of the game, and the one guy you know who can do it is this wide receiver. The problem you have is this defense, more often than not, is going to be aligned to take him out of the game. And that, to your point, Brad, that's where somebody's going to have to step up, whether it's the running game, some of the other receivers, you're going to have to take some of the pressure off of him and really make it a team effort to be able to win this game on the road. It's second and eight. Ball on the 38-yard line. Would have been a big play by the defense. He can't hold it. Boy, a golden opportunity missed by the defense. That was a sure interception only to be dropped. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. Got it, and brought down immediately. Change of quarterback, Kirby. you got to wonder what that's going to do to the team morale. It is next man up. They've got to be ready to trust this guy. Part at the 20, and he shoved out of bounds right around the 30. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Good outside run there. That makes it second and six. From their own 35 yard line, second down. On the ground and he won't get back to the line and the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop this is textbook this is how you're supposed to play against the run dumps it complete over the middle and he is drilled at the 50. You know, if you use him in this offense the right way, it's almost like you have an extra wide receiver. He's that good. Two times, two times. From the 50, first down. Give to the tailback. He gets hit out of bounds at the 40. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. Answer that quickly. That's the kind of play calling and execution I like to see. Being one dimensional on first down can really stack the odds against you. It's better to mix it up. From the 28 yard line. It's first down. And he's leveled at the 25-yard line. That makes it second and six. Double tight, guys, double tight. Four down, four down. Mike four, Mike four. He's in trouble, and he might want it all here, and does! Incomplete, almost picked off. Here's the eighth play of the series. He's taken down at the 14th. 
It's first and ten. Ball on the 14-yard line. the 17-yard line. The offense couldn't get those linemen blocked, and they'll lose yards. Well, here, the defensive linemen did a great job at sealing up the hole at the line of scrimmage. Here's play number 10 on the drive. And they make the stop at about the 17-yard line. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. Quick strike to the back, no good. Accuracy is such a vital part of being a quarterback. You've got to have an ability to lay the ball right into your guy's hands. This will make it a field goal game. The kick is up. No good. He pushed it to the right. So they come up empty-handed there. Kickers have to have a short memory. Just go out and make the next one. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Draw play, and the defense was ready for it. So the halfback loses about two on the run. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 18-yard line. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. That's a game seven on the way. Third down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. So he got a little on that return. Well, Brad, early it looked like there was an opening there, but the seam closed quickly. Their kicker missed the field goal attempt the last time this offense had it. Let's see what happens this time around. Anytime you have a shot at putting points on the board and you don't get it, you get a little frustrated. But this offense is very capable of scoring at any time. And he hits him hard at the 48. The back gets three on the carry. Man, it's difficult to run on this defense when they put this kid up in the box. It's second and seven. Ball on their own 48. He's tackled around the 33-yard line. From the 33-yard line, first down. We've played one quarter. Now this one's scoreless. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Team. You've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. From the 22-yard line, first down. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Just nowhere for the ball carrier to go as the linebacker met him in the backfield. Boy, what great play recognition by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming, and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle.
Snags it complete out of bounds, though, and they're going to lose yardage. That is a loss of one yard. That brings up They'll line it up again on third down. Over the middle to his tailback. He's gobbled up in the backfield. That is a loss of five. That makes it fourth and long. This to try to put his team up by a field goal. Kicks up, and he missed it left. No good. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. They push him out around the 46-yard line. Throws it in a hurry. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. From their own 46-yard line, it's first down. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown. Big play. Just a great effort there. Once he had some space, it was off to the races. He adds the extra point. A quick two-play, 71-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. So our score, 7-0. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's tackled at the 28-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Loss of two by the halfback. That is a loss of two yards. That brings up second and 13. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. He airs it out. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. Number one, he intended to see on the play. That'll make it third and 13. Mike, four. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set, and the defense counters with their dime look. Quick throw out to the receiver. And that was a really well-played series by the defense. They did a pretty good job of not letting the offense get much going on that possession. Brought down at the 26-yard line. The Hurricanes offensive staff, I think, has done a good job of keeping their wide receiver in the game. Even though he's not having great stats, he's part of it, and the rest of the team now is picking up his slack, I think. Well, this offense is still putting points on the board, and I think at times they're actually using the wide receiver, the go-to man who's drawing so much attention, really as a decoy to open up other avenues of this offense. We've seen other receivers make some plays. They're running the football. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments this defense makes to try to slow down these other members of this offense. And who knows, maybe that could open it back up for that marquee receiver. From their own 28-yard line, second down. On the draw, tackle in the backfield. backfield quarterback in the gun five wide receivers <laughs> brought 
brought down at the 37-yard line. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. That makes it first from their own 37-yard line. First down. They'll bring him down at the 33. There was just no daylight on that play, and the defensive lineman was the reason. Well, that's one way to get involved in the game. Great stop in the backfield. On the throw, incomplete pass. Third down again. They come out on an empty backfield. Quick throw. He's knocked out of bounds. Right around the 38-yard line. to the 32-yard line. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail-biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. The Hurricanes wide receiver out with an apparent injury, although he might make a comeback later in this game. And he's taken down the 39-yard line. Pretty nice pickup here. These guys are getting very tight on their timing. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And he snags that one. And he's tackled at the 49-yard line. Toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job, maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. He gets rid of this one. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. It's a great tackle at the 43-yard line. You have to keep an eye on this guy, especially during passing situations, because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback, as we saw right there. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Quick out to his receiver. That brings him second and five. They come out in a five wide set. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. And down he goes around the 47-yard line. He zips it. Great catch, and he's out of bounds. Huge play for both the quarterback and receiver, but it all starts with the big fellas up front who provided the time to get the quarterback a chance to throw. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Run right and hit in the backfield. From a defensive coordinator's standpoint, it can really help out your scheme when you get excellent run support by the corner. Five wide. Number 
Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. ever developed nicely. Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. They got great concentration from everyone to connect on that flag pattern. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After, after review, review of the play, the ruling, the ruling on, the on the field, field stands. stands. So the call on the field stands. And he converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. Fired quickly and he's got his man. He's taken down right around the 48-yard line. Well, this is a really risky call by the defense. When you send both your corners, you leave yourself vulnerable to some passes downfield if those guys don't get to the quarterback in time. Caught, and he's brought down quickly. We're halfway through, and it's been a good one. 14 nothing, Hurricane. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Perhaps the most important statistic in any football game is turnover march. I once had a wise coach tell me that the football was so important they named the game after it. Whatever that means. I think it means that you're not supposed to let it get away from you and give it to the other team. And so far, both of these offenses have done a great job of that. No doubt. And most games are lost, not won. And, and it's because of the turnover differential. And you can look at the stats when you say that every single time. But, you know, both teams doing a good job taking care of it. Both offenses executing and still calling a game, still, still scoring points, still putting up good numbers but at the same time taking care of the pigskin. And they better value that thing because, yeah, you give it away and bad things happen. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. We've got a good, a lot of good games going. We're locked and loaded. We've got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah, we loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? Yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Tackle at the 21. The Hurricanes continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Gets to about the 24-yard line. Call it a game of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Second and seven. Ball on their own 24. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. And he's got his receiver. It's the sophomore. about 
from their own 33-yard line. Second down. There's a strike complete. And they finally knock him out at the 33-yard line. First and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Just throws this one away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. out of bounds at the 21-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 21. It's second down now, 13 to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Looks to him again, complete. And they make the stop at the 14-yard line. It's the ninth play of the drive. Setting up play action. Now he's going to run and watch out. He's tackled at the six. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. And it pays off. Touchdown. push by the line and a really nice run. That'll get you into the end zone almost every time. That is exactly what they needed to get back into this game. A defensive stop on this next possession and this game could very well be tied going into the fourth quarter. And he hits the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Got some open field. He's at midfield. Knocked out of bounds at the 46-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. That's good for a game of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Mike four, Mike four. Zips it to the tight end. Tackle at about the 37-yard line. Game of seven on the play. That'll make a short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Makes it to the 27. Game of ten yards. First down. Watch 35, watch 35. 
And he's tackled after positive yardage. That brings him second and five. From the 22-yard line, it's second down. Here's an opening. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. down and they'll be looking for six points here. He gets out to about the six yard line. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. to the back incomplete. Well, let's see what they do here. It's third and goal from the six. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Slings it. Makes the PAT. That's three down and one to go. The Hurricanes lead it by two touchdowns. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Well, the kicker made sure that no one had a shot at returning that one. Free kick, kick out, out of bounds. bounds. Kicking, Kicking team. team. You know, the kicker has one job. Kick it downfield and keep it in bounds. This kind of stuff just drives me crazy. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. it out to about the 49. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. They'll bring him down around the 49-yard line. Second and 12. Man left, man left. It's second and 12. Ball on their own 49. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Brought down right around the 44 yard line. Number 42. That'll bring up third and four. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Now, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Taken down to the 38-yard line. From the 38-yard line, it's first down. Run, run, run. 
He makes it to the 38-yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. That makes it second and 10. Around the 29 yard line. Third down. And this play is number eight on the drive. to about the 27 yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. And he tackles him hard at the 34 yard line. That'll make it second and long. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Just under three to go in regulation. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. That's a great tackle at the 23. That'll bring up third and six. This is the 11th play of this drive. is going to stay on the field and try to convert another fourth down. They're crowding the line. The 10. Here's another fourth down conversion by this offense. This is a risky way to live, but I'll tell you what, somehow, some way, this offense continues to tell about it. And this is the 13th play of this drive. It's a yard, maybe less. Good stop there by the freshman. You got to be careful with this offensive attack because one missed tackle could mean trouble. It's second and goal. Ball on the five. Here's a throw, and it's almost picked. This is the 15th play of the current drive. Looks middle, got his back, and down he goes around the one yard line. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. They line up in the jumbo set. Looking for six, and he got it. Touchdown. Big pass play for the score, and we're down to a one-score game. And he tacks on the extra point. This is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? A score here might effectively end this one. Just over a minute left. Makes it out to about the 36. This guy just made those 10 yards look easy. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Yeah. 
gains his way to the 26-yard line. He got the ball, and he was off like a shot. This guy has some big-time speed. Makes it to the 14. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. First and 10, ball on the 14-yard line. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. He's taken down at the 13. The back gets three on the carry. Canes. Coaching staff, Kirk, do they start wondering, hey, uh, are we going to have trouble with our star player after the struggles he had today? Well, I think the coaching staff's got to be happy that this team is able to win the football game and overcome the fact that their star player didn't have a great game. But I think making adjustments and changing the game plan because their star didn't deliver, I think that would be a big mistake. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.